toilet loose at floor. Toilet leaking at floor. Doing an attic inspection. Listening to a rumbly water heater. Got a little bit of corrosion happening right there, so I thought to myself, let's further investigate. And then down here, we've got some really nice corrosion happening. Cha-ching! I'm operating the cooling cycle. And it's getting hotter than when I was running the heater cycle. I don't think that is the correct operation. Primary bathroom. Low pressure. Low pressure. More low pressure. More low pressure. I'm missing a weather stripping. Got some grout that needs to be improved. We got some mold growing on the seat. It's not a permanent thing, but gross. Shower running in there. Got a nice, healthy stream of water coming out the building. I'd... Way around, we get up here, and there's no bridge vents, no whirly birds, no circle vents, no nothing. Forgot to install. Here's why we always check under these uh, windows that jut out might have a carpenter bee problem under here. Got a little bubbling underneath the window. It's all full of water. Found this in the closet. Let's pop this baby open and see if we're active. I'm not seeing anything active. Bummer. Still cool. All right, so we have this massive tree that has been removed, branded for scale, and uh, pulled out a piece of bark on here. And what do we got? We even have termite swarmers in here. Sweet. I thought this was ants. But there's termites in there. Big ones, fat ones, juicy ones. Oh, how they squirm. The raptor's literally floating. Come to this side. <laughs> Nails aren't even touching. Let's go check under the sink. <sighs> you hear it? Get to the chopper! PVC dryer vent. Wrong material, and that looks a little suspicious. I don't know where it's going. Looks like it's going up. Let's go up here and check it out. Oh yeah, right up in the attic. Checking out an attic in a house that's about 20 years old. Looking up on the plumbing vent stacks. There's a bit of daylight coming through this one. Let's get a little closer look. Oh, there's some signs of moisture down here. Oh yeah, I think we might have a damaged boot jack. Bathroom of a 20-ish year old house. I'm testing the shower pan, my trusty shower pan tester. I was doing a thermal scan. I noticed a little bit of dark stuff around the bottom there, so I thought, let's take a look at that. See a 
little water standing right here. A little water damage. Use my trusty moisture meter. And bam! Got him! Got him! There's more water standing right there. Checking out this house, it's about 20 years old. Got a little gutter damage. Not a big deal. I'm walking over here to the low slope roof. This is fairly flat and that has a risk of catching water. I don't know if you can see it right about here, but the structure has started to sag. Got a little, little deflection right there, and it's starting to crack right there. That might need a redo. Here's a good example of an old water heater that's got flame rollout. The flame is actually coming out. A lot of black coming, suck coming up. Of course, a lot of issues. How good that settlement trap is. I'm in a remodel of the 1920s house. Got a little bit of corrosion in the pan. But then if you follow the trail of corrosion up the unit, you come to that beauty. I think that this is the original connection piece. Ha ha. So here's a great example of how not to install your stucco. Uh, they don't have any weep screws in any of these overhangs. Right here, you can see the stucco is bulging. Come down above the garage. No weep screed, stucco's bulging. And you come out, look underneath, and see it's all rusted through, it's cracking all the way down. Come down over here. I felt up underneath this substrate, and the substrate is like gone. You can just pull pieces of wood out. You can see all the wood that's falling underneath there. Let's see if I can get underneath here so you can see. You can see it's all. So sure it's all rotted. So yeah, they're smart to get a stucco inspection. I don't think I need the moisture meter on that one. Yeah, this one's bubbling too. Not like that one, but. Is that why you think? Yeah. Yeah, these are pretty beat up. This would be a replay. This would. We're on a brand new roof. Got some improperly installed shingles. Right here, right here. And right over here, this little guy didn't quite make it up to the top here. And it's lifting. 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 Hang on. Some more properly installed shingles. Got a fastener pushing through the material right y'all. And then right back here, where'd it go? There it is. Gold mine. One picture, got exposed fastener and a damaged shingle. Jackpot! All right, so we're doing a stucco inspection this morning and we found something with how this is set up. So we have stucco all on the lower half. You got this trim here and you got the panels above. Now you got the flashing all between the panels, but Josh checked with his mirror and every single joint of the panels, they didn't seal at the bottom. So we're going through and at the base right below where every joint is on the stucco, the substrate is either soft or it's compromised. We just pulled out this chunk of wood, I mean, it's like cardboard, at the base of this one. And we've already drilled one spot over here at the gas meter directly below a joint and it was wet. So if you see the setup on one of these three-story townhomes, um, if you have that mirror that Josh had on the pole, check all these joints and see if they're sealed because we're thinking water is just running down these channels straight line down and we checked every single spot 
on all these joints, and they're all soft or the substrate is compromised. So, but if you look at the stucco, the stucco looks great. But now we're gonna have to seal all these joints up, and they also don't have the, the Z flashing above the trim. So, just something to look for. Proper roof maintenance requires you to trim the tree limbs off of the roof. So this one needs to be trimmed a little bit. Up in the attic space, checking out some water heaters. And you can see a little bit of daylight coming through the storm collar. You gotta seal that up and make sure it's in the right position. And if you look down a little bit, you wanna make sure that you hire a licensed plumber to do your plumbing work. That's not right. Ooh, same thing with that one. This one, that's emitting carbon monoxide into the attic space. Oh, got some, that's corrosion. Oh, we got a, that's the new safety feature. It's a moat around the water here. Check it out. It's a secret compartment on the pool. Oh, no. No, it's just loose coping. Oops. When your gas leak in the attic is so strong, measuring the air going out of the attic. Checking out a sub panel and we got double tap looks like a double tap ground and neutral you're not supposed to have the grounds and the neutrals on the same bus and you're definitely not supposed to have them double tapped all right so we're on a new build we got a register over there register over there we pan around to this game room no register in this area which is kind of odd so then we're doing our thermal and they covered up the register the all right so they made it a little difficult for us to get to the panel box this morning I had to do some gymnastics to get over here we had a Sylvania panel box so we're calling that out we have some a lovely triple wired breaker right there with various sizes in the wires and then uh, double lug neutrals and then we got some corrosion and some overheating happening on two of the neutrals. So definitely gonna need an electrician this morning. All right, I'm on this big uh, custom house. Looks really expensive. Uh, in the garage, you got your panel boxes here and uh, correct me if I'm wrong but I I only see the oofer ground on the garage exterior wall but as we look along here there is no oofer ground installed I did look it up it is required uh, for current buildings so oops I forgot what they can do to to remedy this. No oof of ground. Alright, we got a new build water heater. Leaking water.